Center for Lightweight Production Technology in Augsburg, researches on innovative and industry-oriented automation solutions for manufacturing of large composite parts. The goal in the project ProTech NSR was to automate the manufacturing process of the rear pressure bulkhead of an aircraft built from dry carbon fiber textiles. This structural part is about 5 meters in diameter and consists of many layers of carbon fiber textiles such as long structural plies and complex reinforcing patches in double curved geometry. During the validation phase all sub-processes were demonstrated. The first layers of the long structural plies are placed by a rolling end effector, which applies the material directly from the material roll, draping it properly onto the double curved tool surface. The fixation of the plies is carried out by means of epoxy resin used for infiltration later on. This saves additional adhesive materials. The reinforcing patches are cut with automated and cutting machine. Lifted by a gripper placed on movable transport table. Then the transfer to the robotic cell occurs. The modular gripper recognizes the shape and the exact position of the cut piece. The patch is autonomously approached by the gripper, picked by its 127 suction modules and transferred towards the tool. On the way, the modules are transformed into the target geometry of the placing position. The determined holding forces of the modules and the adjusted surface ensure the desired draping of the cut piece. Optical sensors within the modules monitor the quality of the draping process. Finally, the cut piece is placed in the target position. The quality of every applied cut piece is verified. For the inspection of the draping quality, a fiber angle camera is used. For the exact detection of the edges of the cut piece, a laser sensor with external positioning is used. The long structural plies can also be applied by two co-working robots. Therefore, both end effectors have to be adjusted to the target geometry of the tool. First, the current position of the modules is measured. Then, the target configuration of the modules is set. Properly adjusted end effectors grip the long cut piece on each end and pre-drape it. An algorithm calculates autonomously the movement of both robots' collision free to the target position and sends the calculated path to the robotic cell which executes the movement.
Following the placing and the target position, the cut piece is draped and pressed on the surface. The in-house developed multi kinematic ripper picks stringers as stiffening element automatically and after reorientation during the transfer places it on the preform on the exact position. Vacuum grippers on the free configurable manipulator arms ensure reliable holding of the stringer. They have to be positioned differently for every stringer that allow bringing all of the eight stringers from the pickup station in the preform. For the fixation of the auxiliary material packages, the epoxy resin is applied. Based on a computer model as digital twin, the human-robot interaction during loading of the three-dimensional pre-assembled auxiliary materials packages is coordinated. For this full-scale process, the robotic cell is particularly configured for safety regards. The collision-free robot paths are programmed and simulated offline. The manual loading of the auxiliary materials allows final quality check. The axis synchronized movement of the manipulator arms allows an accurate and non-invasive placement adjusted to the target geometry of the auxiliary materials. In summary, the placing of all auxiliary material packages was successfully demonstrated. A semi-permeable membrane for VIP infusion with help of a mechanized system is placed in the tool and sealed circumferentially. At the end of the vacuum bagging, the membrane is compacted in the narrow radii by the multi gripper. This occurs continuous and pressure controlled normal to the tool surface. Finally, the preform is infiltrated with RTM epoxy resin and cured.